The advantages and disadvantages of automated production lines. We need to group these with the advantages. Let's start there. Uh, the study design says the key knowledge wants us to look at how does uh, a technology improve efficiency, which we've called productivity, and also effectiveness. So we're going to group our advantages into those two categories. So we could say with automated production lines, we can obviously work much faster. Automated production lines can work faster at a set pace per hour, uh, much faster than a human can using manual labor. Increased length of production, not only can a machine work faster, it can work for longer. It doesn't get sick, it doesn't get tired, it doesn't take holidays, it doesn't need to go home at five o'clock, so we can run the production 24-7. We have greater efficiency because we have a lower input cost from humans. There's lower labor costs. More automation means no humans. What about for effectiveness? So how do we improve the quality with automation where we get a much more accurate and consistent design in production? They work more accurate to an exact standard machines than humans do, and it eliminates the chance of human error. No matter how good a human is, they're gonna make errors, even if it's just a tiny fraction, but machines do not. So we're gonna end up with a better quality output. We've also got fuel defects and waste in production. So therefore, I guess the uh, humans, as they get tired, are gonna get sloppy and make mistakes. A machine is not gonna do that. So we're not gonna waste as much material and we're gonna produce a better quality product. Also got an increase in safety. So not only for the final output, but for the workers that are involved still in the production process, and there will be some, but we can get rid of boring and dangerous tasks, uh, repetitive tasks that cause injury and illness. And lastly, the quality will be better. We'll end up with fewer customer complaints. If we're making things to a better standard and there's fewer faulty products and defects, that means fewer defects reach the final customer and customers are much more happy with the final product. What about some disadvantages? The study design says we also need to consider a few of those. So we'll start with, well, there's high costs. You do save costs on labor, the humans. There is a really high cost to install and set up all this machinery. And let's be realistic, that's actually not possible for a lot of businesses, small to medium businesses would love to automate things, but maybe the cost puts it out of their range. What else? There's a redundancy of employees. Every time you automate something, by definition, that means that person's job is no longer required. So now the business has an ethical or CSR issue to consider. And finally, I guess machines are really good, but they're not as smart as humans at the end of the day in terms of flexibility. A machine can't think outside the square. It can only think what it's programmed to do, and that's um, a very limited range of things. So sometimes when issues do arise or flexibility is required, a human actually is preferable to an automated machine.